The World Wide Web is an incredibly dynamic place. Pretty much anybody can put stuff on there. And when you have control over some web base, you can change their contents. The web is constantly changing. It's full of content that's constantly evolving. Websites change, disappear. Domain names get sold to other people who replace their contents with different contents. Certain sites like newspapers have content that's changing all the time. So the web is this really dynamic place. And so it raises this question that's really important to us, I think, as a society, which is how do we preserve some of this in light of all the change that's going on? This is sometimes returned, referred to as digital preservation. It's particularly interesting when we think about the internet. So for example, Wikipedia, anybody can log in and make changes to Wikipedia pages. And when those changes are destructive and remove content or when they change things, how do we know what the old content was? Is there a way to find it? Is there a way to see old versions of things? Turns out, happily, there's a project called the Internet Archive. And the Internet Archive has been for years archiving the internet. So the Internet Archive operates in many ways very in a very way that's very similar to a search engine, except that the Internet Archive is designed to record how the internet is changing over time. So the changes that occur to a particular page. And the Internet Archive is a fun place to poke around. So let's check it out. So I'm, I'm here at the Internet Archive. I'm at archive dot org, which is how you find the Internet Archive. And they have something here called the Wayback Machine. And this is a fun way to look at how web pages looked in the past. So let's look at the home page for the computer science department um, at the University of Buffalo. So I'm going to search for this. So what the Internet Archive will display is what the Internet Archive is doing. It's like a search engine. It's constantly crawling the web. It has these robots that are out there finding versions of web, page, web pages and saving all of them. So it saves every copy of a web page it's ever seen. And what that allows you to do is go back and look at how a web page used to look in the past. So here's an interesting graph. So this shows you, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, this shows all of the copies of www.csc.buffalo.edu that the Internet Archive has recorded over time. I would also donate to the Internet Archive. They're doing really important work. All the way back to 1997. So the first copy of the page of www.csc.buffalo that they have looks like it was recorded in 1998. So let's click over here. Um, OK. And it looks like I have, and down here, so this display shows you um, uh, when they recorded a copy of this page. So this display shows me it's really hard to see. This is very washed out. But there's a little light blue uh, background here and a light blue background here. And so I have copies of that page that were archived on December 2nd, 1998 and December 12th, 1998. So for fun, let's look at the first copy of www.csd.blfl.edu that was ever taken. And if I hover over that, um, Okay, so one thing you'll notice here immediately is that the, um, a lot of the images, uh, in this case, are missing. The Internet Archive doesn't always record these images. That would take up a lot of space. So in certain cases, the images are missing. Um, but So this is really interesting. So this gives you some uh, idea. Um, uh, Patricia Eberlein had uh, just passed away at that point. Uh, this is someone who was a member of the department for a number of years. There's a memorial service held uh, for her um, in 1998 on August 16th. Um, October 16th, sorry, our memorial was held. Um, it looks like we're expanding the department. We're recruiting some new faculty members. Um, there's a search out for a new chair of the department. Um, I'm not sure exactly who filled that position. I, I should probably know. Um, and so, you know, this, this is the, the way that the site looked back in 1998. This is pretty interesting. Um, you can use this to find out all sorts of stuff. Uh, you can use it to find out. Let's, let's pick another version of the site just for fun. This looks like it's, ah, here we go. So here's what the site looked like uh, in March 7th, 2005, so about 10 years ago. Um, and it's, you know, you can see the layouts changed. Um, there was someone named Zin Wang who won a career award that year. Um, so the, the Internet Archive is just fun. You know, it's a fun place to poke around, use it to find out old versions of sites and things like that. In other times, though, the Internet Archive has played this really valuable role in digital preservation because, like I pointed out before, it's very easy to change things online. And sometimes those changes are made by people who are trying to destroy information.
So for example, someone posts something on a website that they later retract, they don't believe that anymore, or they don't want to believe it anymore, or they don't want people to know that they believed it anymore, and so the Internet Archive saves the copy of that page and makes sure that you can see what things look like in the past. So this is a fun tool, use it, poke around a little bit, find out what the Internet looked like in the past.